Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. So we were discussing about array manipulation and in the previous tutorial we discussed about how to flatten the given numpy array. So today in this tutorial we'll discuss about how to shuffle or interchange the dimension or axis of given numpy array. So today here we'll discuss about two function. One is transpose function and the second one is swap axis function so first we'll discuss about the transpose function this function will rearrange the dimension of given numpy array next we'll see the syntax okay so this is a function so you need to mention numpy dot transpose next we can see two parameters array that is nothing but the input array and here axis equal to none so by default value of axis is none. So that is nothing but it will transpose or rearrange the given numpy array by reversing the dimension. Or you can mention any other values. So then it will rearrange the dimension based on that values. Next what this function will return. So we'll get a transposed array. It won't copy the data. It will give view of the original array. So next we'll see the example. Okay, so here I'll take a two dimensional array. So we'll create the array using arrange function. Then I'll reshape that array to 2D array. Here my array name is array one and it contains five rows and two column. Next, if you want to transpose this array or if you want to rearrange the dimension of this array, then you can mention np dot transpose this is the function name okay so here i took numpy as np i imported numpy as np that's why i mentioned np.transpose next i need to mention the array name so i'll take array one my array name so i won't mention the next parameter so it will take the default value okay here we can see the original array array one was of shape phi comma two Okay, here we can see five rows and two column. Now we got the transpose of that array. Here we can see two rows and five column. So here because we didn't mention the axis, it will take the default value. So it will rearrange the dimension in reverse order. So that is nothing but here array one is my original array. Its shape was five comma two. Okay, original array. Now I did this np dot transpose. If I want to find out the output array dimension, I can mention dot shape. Okay. So if I enter two comma five, okay, it will rearrange the dimension in the reverse order. All right. So this is the example in the 2D array. Next, we'll take the 3D array. So here we can see we have an array. Array name is A. This is the 3D array. So its shape is two comma three comma four. Here we can see the shape. So I won't check the shape now. So if I want to transpose this, right? So I need to mention numpy dot transpose because here we imported numpy as np. I need to mention np dot transpose. And here I need to mention the array name that is a. So here also I won't mention the axis parameter. So we'll discuss about that later. Okay. So for now axis value is none. So that is nothing but it will rearrange the dimension in the reverse order. So if I enter now, here we'll see this array. Here we can see, okay, this is the transposed array. So here we can see this shape. It is one, two, three, four. We have four 2D array. That is something but shape is four comma. Here row in each 2D array is three and column is two. So we got shape as four comma three comma two. Or you can check like this also. np dot transpose dot shape. That is four comma three comma two. The original shape was two comma three comma four. So here we got output as four comma three comma two. That is the reverse order, right? So it will rearrange the dimension in the reverse order. Okay, so this is about the two D array and three D array. Okay, then what about the one D array? So this transpose function will work on two D array, three D array, or four D array. So if you perform this transpose function on 1D array, we won't get anything uh, different. We'll get same output. Here we can see I have 1D array. 
so if I apply this uh, transpose function and here array name is a okay we'll get same because one dimensional array contains only one dimension so transpose function is used to rearrange the dimension if we have only one dimension then how to arrange that right that's why we can use this transpose function in 2d array 3d array or 4d array all right so next we'll talk about the access parameter till now in the example we used access as none that is the default value that's why it shuffled the dimension in the reverse order so what if i mentioned this access what will happen so first we'll see for the 2d array okay so when in the 2d array we have only two dimension okay one is this one is this so this is the zero dimension this is the one dimension so 2d array contains two dimension we'll take the first dimension as zero and the second dimension as one so now i need to mention that here axis okay here we can do only two combination that is i can mention either one comma zero or zero comma one okay if i mention one comma zero that is nothing but in the reverse order if I mention 0 comma 1, we will get same output. So I'll show you that. So here we can see we perform the transpose function on the 2D array here. So if I take transpose array 1 comma access as if I mention 1 comma 0 that is nothing but rearrange the dimension according to this value. So if I enter, I'll get like this only same when I didn't mention the axis, I got this output when I mentioned one comma zero also, I got this answer that is nothing but these both are same here when I didn't mention the axis, it will take the default value and default value is nothing but it will rearrange the dimension in the reverse order that is nothing but one comma zero. Okay. So now if I mention zero comma one, what will happen? So two dimensional array contains only two dimensions. So if I mention like this and enter, we'll get same array, same input array, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Because arrange the dimension according to this value, that is nothing but 0 first, next 1. So we'll get like this. Okay, so this is about the access parameter. So this access parameter is really helpful when we use a 3D array or 4D array. So I'll show you the example for that. So we took this example where we didn't use access. Next, we'll take another example where we'll use access. Okay. So in the previous example, when we applied this transpose function on this array, so it transposed the array or rearranged the dimension in the reverse order. So we got the shape as 4, 3, 2. So now I want something different. Like I want uh, three 2D arrays. Okay. So next uh, four rows and two columns. That is nothing but I want the shape as 3, 4 and 2. So I want the shape of the output as 3, 4, 2. Okay, so for that, what I'll do is first I'll take this function transpose. You need to mention the array name that is a comma. So now you need to mention the axis. So here first I want 3, right? So 0, 1, 2. So I need to mention 1 here. Because this is the 3D array, it contains three dimensions. So first dimension is 0, second dimension is 1, and the third dimension is 2. 0, 1, 2 values. So I need to, I want this, right? This is the second dimension. So its value is 1. And I, next, I want uh, four rows. So here I need to mention 2 and 0. 1, 2, 0. Okay. So if I enter now, we'll get 1, 2, 3. Okay. So three 2d arrays and in that four rows so here we can see one two three four each 2d array contains four rows and two columns in each 2d array okay so you can transpose this array according to this also so in the transpose function we are rearranging the dimension of the array we can rearrange the array in different ways one is without mentioning axis so by default it will rearrange the dimension in the reverse order or you can mention the value here according to that you can rearrange the given numpy array okay so next we can use this transpose function as a method so that is nothing but we can mention nd array that is nothing but the array name dot transpose and here we can mention the axis okay we can use like this also 
for example if i want to transpose array a so i can mention a dot transpose and i can mention the axis or i can leave as it is okay i can do this also this is the equivalent method to transpose function or you can use the attribute t so i'll show you the example for this so here i have a 2d array so you can mention a dot transpose array name is a transpose correct right and you can write like this also okay or you can use attribute t to transpose the given array you should mention a dot t like this and enter it will also work in the same way but here when you are using attribute you can't mention the axis okay so it will arrange the dimension in the reverse order but in the transpose method and function you can arrange the dimension based on required axis also all right so next we'll talk about the swap access function as name indicates this function is used to interchange the axis of an array so here in nd array axis and dimensions are same okay so if you want to interchange two dimension or axis of the array then you can use this function so let's see the syntax of this you should mention numpy dot swap axis and here you should mention the array and here axis 1 and axis 2 so you want to swap two axis right so you should mention axis 1 and axis 2 so he, here this is the input array and swap axis is a function so you should mention numpy dot swap axis so let's see the example so so i'll mention np dot swap axis and array name is a and i want to swap the axis 0 and 1 so here we are applying the swap axis function on the 2d array and 2d array contains only two dimension that is 0 and 1 so it will swap like this and we'll get 1 3 2 4 okay it will swap axis 0 and axis 1 and we'll get output like this okay so let's see another example so here we have 2d array so if i check a shape 1 comma 3 this is the two dimensional array one row and three column if i want to swap this axis it is a 2d array so it contains only two dimension so if i mention np dot swap axis array name is a right and the dimension is 0 comma 1 or 1 comma 0 so you can mention anything because we want to swap two axes you can mention 0 comma 1 or 1 comma 0 it will swap 1 and 0 axis so we'll get 1 2 3 okay so if you mention 0 comma 1 i'll show you you'll get the same output fine this swap access function is useful when you are using 3d array or 4d array because three dimensional array contains three axes in that if i want to interchange any two axes then i can use this function or in 4d array in 5d array okay so let's see the example we have a 3d array here array name is a so if i want to swap axis array name is a so i want to swap the row and column of each 2d array okay so i'll mention axis as 1 comma 2 so i don't want to swap the first dimension i want to swap row and column row axis is 1 and uh, column axis is 2 so i need to mention 1 comma 2 if i enter i can see here so it contains two 2d array but in each array we can see four row and three column now okay so here if i check the shape of this so to check the shape i need to mention like this now so i'll check the shape of this here we can see two four three we interchange this two three comma four and four comma three so if you want to interchange any two dimension then you can use this function next you can use swap access function as method also that is nothing but you can mention nd array dot swap access 
and axis 1 comma axis 2 okay so instead of mentioning numpy dot swap axis you can mention nd array that is array name dot swap axis and you can mention the axis this is the equivalent method to that function so i'll show you this example a dot swap axis so i'll take same uh, this okay we'll get same output here we can see so this is about the swap axis and transpose function so now both this function is used to interchange the dimension of the given number array then what is the difference between these two function the difference is in the swap axis function we can rearrange only two dimension okay but in the transpose we can arrange all the dimension or we can arrange any two dimension also so this is about how we can shuffle the dimension in numpy arrays so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care